Do you know what can possibly go wrong if you don't follow safety measures in a laboratory? Imagine this, a simple misstep, an overlooked detail, and suddenly you're in the midst of a dangerous situation. This is the potential reality in laboratories without proper safety precautions. Safety measures in a laboratory are not merely guidelines, but vital shields that prevent accidents and injuries. The laboratory, a place of discovery and scientific breakthroughs, can also be a playground for hazardous situations if these measures are not followed. From corrosive chemicals to delicate equipment, a laboratory is filled with potential dangers. The impact of not adhering to safety measures can range from minor injuries to severe accidents and in some extreme cases even fatalities. But fear not, understanding and applying laboratory safety measures can turn this potentially dangerous environment into a safe haven for scientific exploration. So buckle up as we dive into the steps to ensure safety in a laboratory. The first step to ensure safety in a laboratory is dressing appropriately. Much like a knight dons armor before battle, a scientist must dress for the task at hand. The laboratory is no place for fashion statements. It demands a uniform that shields you from potential hazards. Start with a lab coat, your primary defense against chemical spills and splashes. It's not a fashion accessory, but a protective barrier. Don't forget the protective eyewear, your nightly shield, because your eyes are particularly vulnerable to chemical splashes and flying debris. Now let's talk shoes. Closed toe shoes are a must. They protect your feet from broken glass and other sharp objects that might be lurking on the lab floor. Loose clothing and dangling jewelry? They're like a moth to a flame, easily caught on equipment or even in flames. So keep it simple and safe. Remember, the right attire can save you from potential harm. Being familiar with your lab equipment is not just about getting your experiment right. It's more than just precision in your procedures. It's also about ensuring safety. Accidents in the lab often occur due to improper handling or misunderstanding of the equipment's function. To prevent such incidents, it's crucial to have a thorough understanding of the tools you're working with. Take the Bunsen burner, for instance. It's a common piece of equipment used for heating and sterilizing. But can you imagine the possible hazards if it's left unattended? Or if the gas valve isn't shut off properly? Or consider the centrifuge, another regularly used device. If not balanced correctly, it can become a dangerous projectile. The microscope, while not exactly perilous, can be quite costly if mishandled. Misplacing the slide or using the coarse focus when on high power can scratch the lens, leading to blurry images and potentially damaging this expensive tool. Now let's talk about glassware. It's ubiquitous in any lab. However, mishandling can lead to breakage, causing not only loss of your sample, but also the risk of cuts or contamination. So always ensure to handle glassware with clean, dry hands and store them properly after use. The autoclave, a machine used for sterilizing equipment and supplies, can be dangerous if not operated correctly. Improper sealing or overloading can lead to explosions or implosions. Hence, it's essential to be trained thoroughly before using such equipment. The same goes for every piece of equipment in a lab, from pipettes to pH meters. Each has its own set of safety protocols and operating procedures. And it's not just about knowing how to use them, but also understanding what could go wrong and how to prevent it. Remember, science is about exploration and discovery, but it's also about safety and responsibility. The lab is not a place for guesswork or assumptions. If you're unsure about how to use a piece of equipment, don't hesitate to ask for guidance. The key here is when in doubt, always ask for help. Chemicals, if not handled correctly, can be your worst nightmare in a lab. Now, we're stepping into the world of chemicals, a realm that holds immense power and potential, but also danger. Handling chemicals isn't child's play, and we must approach them with respect and caution. Before we even think of using them, it's essential to understand their properties. Whether they are flammable, corrosive, toxic or reactive, every chemical carries its own set of guidelines for use. Reading the Material Safety Data Sheet, or MSDS, for each chemical is a must. Safe handling goes beyond just knowing about the chemicals. It's also about how you interact with them. Always measure your chemicals accurately, never rush, and avoid direct contact. 
That's where protective gear comes into play. Gloves, goggles, lab coats, these aren't fashion statements, but shields that protect you from potential harm. Depending on the chemical, you might need special gear, such as respirators or heat-resistant gloves. Storing chemicals is another critical aspect. Not every shelf or cupboard is suitable for every chemical. Some chemicals need to be kept at specific temperatures, while others need to be isolated because they react with certain substances. Always keep chemicals in their original containers and never forget to label them. An unmarked bottle might as well be a ticking time bomb. Disposing of chemicals is just as important as handling them. You can't simply pour them down the sink or toss them in the bin. Many chemicals require special disposal methods to prevent environmental harm and health hazards. Follow your lab's disposal guidelines strictly and when in doubt, always ask. Remember, safety first, even when dealing with the smallest amount of chemical. No matter how careful we are, accidents can still happen. In a laboratory setting, this statement rings particularly true. It's crucial to know what to do when, despite all precautions, accidents happen. First and foremost, don't panic. A clear mind is your best ally in a crisis. Assess the situation quickly and accurately. Identify the type of accident. Is it a chemical spill, a fire, or an injury? Each type of accident requires a different response. Let's consider a chemical spill. Your first instinct might be to clean it up, but hold on. Do you know the properties of the chemical? Some chemicals react violently with common cleaning agents. Instead, alert your lab supervisor, who will guide you on the best course of action. If a fire breaks out, do you know where the fire extinguisher is located? More importantly, do you know how to use it? Familiarize yourself with the PASS acronym. Pull the pin, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the handle, and sweep side to side. Injuries, no matter how minor, should always be treated seriously. A small cut can lead to infection if not treated properly. Know the location of your first aid kit and how to use its contents. If the injury is severe, don't attempt to treat it yourself. Call for medical help immediately. Regardless of the type of accident, always report it to your lab supervisor. Even a minor incident can provide valuable lessons on how to prevent future accidents. Remember, safety equipment like fire extinguishers and first aid kits are only effective if you know how to use them. Take the time to familiarize yourself with these tools. It's not wasted time, it's an investment in your safety and the safety of those around you. Being prepared for accidents is just as important as preventing them. So let's be prepared, stay alert, and make our laboratory a safer place for everyone. So we've covered quite a bit about laboratory safety. Let's take a moment to revisit the crucial takeaways from our discussion. First and foremost, we've emphasized the importance of dressing appropriately while in the lab. This means wearing clothing that protects your body, including long pants, closed toe shoes, and a lab coat. Don't forget the safety goggles and gloves when handling chemicals or dangerous equipment. We dress this way not to make a fashion statement, but to shield ourselves from potential hazards. We also delved into the world of lab equipment, highlighting the importance of familiarizing ourselves with these tools. A comprehensive understanding of how each piece of equipment works can not only improve the efficiency of your work, but also significantly reduce the risk of accidents. From microscopes to Bunsen burners, each piece of equipment has its own set of safety guidelines that should be adhered to. Then, we navigated through the intricate process of handling chemicals safely. We cannot stress enough the importance of reading and understanding the safety data sheets of the chemicals you're working with. Always handle chemicals with care, and remember, never return unused chemicals back to their original containers. We wrapped up our discussion by preparing for the unexpected. Accidents. It's crucial to know the location and proper usage of safety equipment, including fire extinguishers, first aid kits and emergency showers. In the event of a mishap, immediate and correct response can make all the difference. In conclusion, each step we take in a laboratory should be a step taken with safety in mind. We are dealing with elements that can be as fascinating as they are dangerous. But with the right knowledge, precaution and vigilance, we can ensure a safe and productive environment for everyone. Remember, safety should never be compromised. Stay safe, be vigilant, subscribe for more.